Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, our great millstone every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. This is the brother Yawanathan coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shah. And I pray that this lesson is edifying, man. All right, and uh, going to go into the calm before the storm, man. And through the spirit, you know, I was meditating on that, man, because hey, that's what it's about to get hey, in Babylon the Great, which is America and the scriptures, man. This is what you see right now, man. The calm before the storm. Because right now, all right, everything is calm. All right, but we know that we're coming into a time of trouble, like the scripture speaks about, man. All right, a time like has never, or uh, a time like that has never been all right, on, on the planet Earth. You see, and that's the times we're coming into. But hey, the media will, will portray as if nothing is gonna happen, man. You scroll on your, you know, your social media sites, it looks like nothing is gonna happen, man. And that's how your how Bashamel Shah has it set up. All right, and it says the definition of the calm before the storm, a period of quiet that comes before a time of activity, excitement, and violence, etc., man. And that's what's gonna happen. Hey, that that activity. It's going to be Esau Edom coming down with you, Jace, with that sword. All right. <laughs> that excitement is going to be, you know, Laurel and we be a part of that number. All right. We pray we be a part of that number. All right. But the excitement is going to come from us that's been doing this work, man, because Isaiah the 65th chapter says, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, and my servant shall rejoice, man. So we're going to come into that time of excitement, man. Okay. And that violence again. All right, there's going to be violence, all out mayhem, pandemonium. All right, these are the times that's coming to America, man. Babylon the Great. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble. So right now it seems calm, all right? But guess what? There's going to be a time of activity, man, a time of violence, all right? A time of all out mayhem, man. And that's why it's very important that we stay what? We stay um, uh, vigilant. You know, we stay circumspect, all right? You know, we're on our watch because... Esau Edom, through his deception, is going to make it seem like nothing is happening, man. Even with the pestilence, man. You you know, it was the point of time when Esau Edom couldn't shut up about it, man. Now, you rarely see anything about the news, man. You even got, um, you even got, uh, um, uh, what's that dude's name, man? Bill Snakes. You got Bill Snakes forewarning you, <laughs> pre-telling you that there's going to be another uh, a pestilence or pandemic, man. See, so this is who we dealing with. All right, so that's why we gotta stay on our watch. But let me first get, uh, let me first get, uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, and I'm gonna read. I'm gonna start from the top, and it says, "But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you." And why do we have no need? Because, hey, just like how it says in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, hey, to measure, uh, measure the time diligently in itself, man. So through the through the signs of the times, all right, we're gonna know what time that we in just by seeing, all right, all, all the signs that you have by Shemal Shah. And it says, verse two, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in a night, man. All right. And hey, why does this? Why is the parable like a thief in the night, man? Because a thief comes when a a thief comes when is is less, you know, when it's least expected, man. Everybody's asleep. Nobody's on his watch. All right. And that's how it's gonna be when the coming. Just that's how it's gonna be. All right for the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. Because the, the, the majority of these people, all right, aren't prepared, neither, all right, are they on watch, man. That's why that day is going to overtake them. But to continue reading verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. You see? So, again, it says when they shall say peace and safety. And just we in them times right now, man. People are saying peace and safety. Even with that whole thing that's going on in... um. All right, Ukraine, all right, with them Russians. All right, hey, Amer America ain't worried about that. You still got Jake and they Murph, all right? Jake is, you know, trying to figure out what's the moves. All right, they're t trying to continue their wickedness, man. But what does this say? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. And that's going to be a that calm, 
hey, that calm before the storm, man. You see? That peace and that calm spirit, man. All right, that day is going to come upon you suddenly, man. And it says, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, man. Meaning that, hey, it's going to be a time, man. Right now, the times of mercy, the, hey, the gates of repentance are open, man. All right, you still got this truth out here. You see, you got the men of the Lord prophesying day in and out, making these exhortations, making these lessons. All right. So the gates of mercy are still open, but there's going to be a time. And when you have about your mouth, so such it, man. So that that's that's going into the meaning that you're not going to escape, man. And when this destruction come upon you, Jake, you're not going to be able to escape from it, man. Because, hey, in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, it tells you, hey, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to make you eat the fruit of your own devices, man. Anything that you put above the Lord, anything that you thought was, you know, that that was uh, anything that you thought was going to deliver you or save you. And hey, the Lord is going to give you into the hands of that, man. Hey, especially of two thirds of our people, man. Especially those that know in the circumcision, man. All right, and it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. You see, so us brothers that's doing this work, all right, that day isn't going to overtake us, man. Because, hey, Lord willing, we're going to be excited. We waiting for our kingdom, man. We waiting for our Lord, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. But it says, ye are all the children of light and the children of day. We are not of, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but, but let us watch. And be sober, you see, going back to being uh, circumspect, man. Because that's all watch me, man, being circumspect, being on your watch. All right? And hey, to be sober means to be what? Be soberly minded, man. To be uh, 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 vigilant, okay? Because, again, we know Esau Edom, all right? We know Esau Edom is, 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 is um, like it says in uh, 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 second, uh, second Corinthians, let me try to get that right quick. Second, uh, Second Corinthians chapter five, or Salakia chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "Let let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Trying to make it seem as if, all right, nothing is going on. We know that, all right, he's the wicked. We know that he's coming. He's gonna come down with that great wrath, man. All right, because the scriptures, hey, the scriptures tells us, man. All right." And um, I believe that was that on that. But let me get Luke, uh, Luke chapter seventeen, okay. Luke chapter seventeen. All right, this is Luke chapter seventeen, verse twenty-six, and it reads, "And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives." They were given in marriage until that day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. You see, and that's the, what the spirit ate. Hey, this world is in the spirit of mirth, man. All right. And that YOLO spirit, man, you only live once. All right. People aren't a uh, consideration right, of the times to come. People aren't considering all right, the judgment that's about to come upon this earth, man, because people don't believe now because the how about Shemel Shah isn't judging Jake, man. Hey, but hey, this is what 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashmel Shah turning up. I right, be prepared to see judgment on a large scale, man. Be prepared to see a hey, Yahweh Bashmel Shah judging his people, man. Especially two thirds of his people, man. Because hey, in the book of Peter, all right, it says that judgment must begin at the house of Israel, man. All right, starting first to those that know that they are Israelites, man. All right, the world is in the hey, the, the world is in the spirit of mirth. These people don't care about the Lord. These people don't know the times that they are in. Okay. Let me also get um Matthew chapter 16. All right. Matthew chapter 16, verse 2. Or oh, let me start at 1. It says, The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he will show them a sign of heaven. And that's the problem with Jake, man. <laughs> Jake will tell you, you know, Jake will, you know, Jake ain't dumb, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jake will tell you, you know, all this stuff. Jake will tell you that, oh, we at the end, brother. Oh, all this going on, we at the end. But yet, they still don't want to come and serve the Lord, man. And verse 2, it says, He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be, and, it, and, and in the morning, it will be foul weather today. 
for the sky is red and luring. Oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times, you see? So, hey, Yahweh Shah said, oh, ye hypocrites, man. He likened our people unto hypocrites, man. Because these people will go outside and tell you, hey, the, the weather forecast, man. But, hey, you, they can't see the signs of the times, man. The scriptures speak about the rumors of war, man. The scriptures speak about Esau, Edom. Oh, it's lucky. The, the scriptures speak about pestilence, man. Yeah, how about some outside sending pestilence upon this place, man? All right? And giving us signs, man. All right? But our people still will not come into the truth. Our people will still not hearken nor believe, man. All right? And it says, verse 4, A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh that for after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas, and left and departed them. All right? And let's also get 2 Ezra chapter 9. All right, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then they shall understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when they shall see, therefore, when they shall, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of, uproars of the people in the world, then they shall well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the, for like as all that is made in the world had the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, man. All right, and it says verse six. Even so, the times, even so, the times also the highest have plain beginning and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. You see. So, hey, how about Shemal Shah? All right, it's giving, hey, it's giving us signs, man. Giving us signs to know that, hey, his return is not, is near, man. But you have to have that spiritual eye to see. All right. And this is Romans. Uh, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And it reads, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Hey, so right now we're supposed to be excited, man. Right now we're supposed to be rejoicing because we know that our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. But two-thirds of these people are going to get caught off guard, man. Like in the world, Jake say, hey, get caught lacking, man. And that's what's going to happen. Two-thirds of our people are going to get caught lacking by Yahweh Bashim al Shah because, hey, that judgment that the Heavenly Father is about to bring upon this world and his people, all right, is going to generate fear. All right, so hey, through the spirit, all right, I pray that this lesson was edifying. And right now, we are in the calm before the storm, man. All right, so you know, again, I pray this lesson was edifying. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, that will honor to the apostles and elders of great mercy and that well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful left scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa, Kwame, Shalom.